Okay, hey, so, um, hold on, let me see what happens when I do this. Okay, I'm, I'm doing my makeup. Um, I've noticed that, um, my camera, my camcorder, which is on right now, um, doesn't really film, it doesn't upload. For some reason, I don't know if it's, like, a really good quality, but I mean, I've uploaded so many from it, so I, I just don't know, I don't understand, but I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm filming on my phone and on my camcorder as we speak. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup, um... I'll try to look at the camera. Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the mirror, um, or in the screen. This is a kind of bad angle. Um, I'm very aware of that, but I was just going to go ahead, um, just because I feel like I haven't uploaded a video when it comes to makeup in a while, and I really, that's my favorite. That's, that's the reason I started vlogging in the first place, so, um, I was going to go ahead and upload it, and this is probably going to be a long video, um, so I just wanted to say that, um, Let's start, uh, first I think I'm actually going to do my lips, so I have a lot, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I have 10 Jeffree Star lip scrubs, I have, uh, cherry, cherry cola, which, or no, cherry soda, which I thought would be like a cherry, like, like really cherry, but it's like cherry and coke, I don't like cherry coke, um, so that's one at the, is at the bottom, um, I have grape soda, which is delicious, I have, um, pink lemonade, uh, rainbow sherbet, I have, ooh, I forgot what that one is, marshmallow, um, blue raspberry sucker, watermelon gum, strawberry gum, candy necklace, and salted caramel. Um, I'm gonna see why this just turned off. What is going on here? that turn off. Anyways, okay. So I think I'm going to use my favorite one is either raspberry sucker or uh, watermelon gum. So I'm going to use watermelon gum. I actually, watermelon gum I bought I bought from my mom and my sister because I was like, oh my god, it's really good. So what it is, it's, it's a sugar scrub. I'm going to show you. It's a sugar scrub. Um, so it comes like this. It's, um, it's just in a, a lip exfoliant because I wear a lot of liquid lipsticks, so those really dry out your lips. And I'm about to put on one, and so you're really supposed to exfoliate before you do because they can really show like they kind of cling to if you have like dead skin, they're just more they're dry, they're matte. So you just you just use some to exfoliate. And you can eat it. So you just lick it off. It's delicious. Oh my god. If you try this, if you're going to get eat any of them, get watermelon gum. If you like watermelon. They're like $12. You can get them at Morphe stores. There's a Morphe store at the Galleria as well as at North Park. Um, but they're, n most of them, they're sold out. Like I've, I've tried to buy other ones. Mostly you really have to get them online. Um, so I mean, they're, I mean, I've, I have bought some before, anyways, they have had them before, so it's not like they don't always have them, but they, lately they haven't had them at either location. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, prime now, now that I've got my lips, um, exfoliated, I actually am going to, um, moisturize them though, just because it's winter, the, the weather's kind of crazy, so I'm going to use this Rose Salve by... You can get this, I think you can still get it at Bath & Body Works. I just love everything rose. It's like a, you can put this on like your elbows and your kneecaps, but it's rose, uh, rose salve. So it's just like rose flavored and scented, um, salve, I guess, just like a goo. Anyways, okay. So I have here the stuff that I think I already showed you that I bought, um, on Friday. Today I went to the mall again, well I went to the mall, and I actually did go to the Morphe store and I bought um, another Jeffree Star product, which I, I've, I've wanted for a long time but they never had it in the store. It's a liquid skin frost. Now normally I would get the white one of any kind, but this is called Canary Bling. It's like a yellow, so that's what, I've, I've just wanted this one so bad. 
I'm gonna show it to you in the bottle. So it's like a, it's kind of like a gold, um, but it's not too, it's like a, a pale gold. Well, you'll see. I'm, I've already swatched it on my hand. It's not as crazy yellow as, as it seems. Um, so, okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go fast because I just know that this camera's gonna die or this phone probably will start saying, you know, you're running out of time or it will stop filming or something. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, oh, Prime. I'm gonna prime. What did I do with that primer? Hmm. Um. Oh, here it is. So this is the Honey Do Me Up Primer by NYX. Um, it's got gold flecks in it. It's trying to be the YSL one. I actually prefer the YSL, but obviously everybody prefers YSL. That's like a million dollar primer. Okay. Just gonna get this done. So I can sit down and smoke and drink Trader Goods, Trader Joe's Goods, beverages. That was weird. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take, actually, I really do like the Fenty, but I'm going to use this foundation stick because I got, I got the setting powder. I want to see how it works with it. So I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm just going to use this Revolution Makeup, um, foundation stick is in the sh the lightest shade they have F1 and I'm just gonna draw stripes I actually go crazy with this stuff it really doesn't need as much as it looks like I put on like as much as I put on you really don't need um because a little goes a long way it's a really really full coverage foundation um, I just, I really like a lot of foundation. I like really full coverage. I don't wear makeup every single day, but I just really like full coverage, so. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna take, I'm taking Mario Badescu, um, uh, facial spray with chamomile, chamomile and lavender, and I'm just spraying it on my Beauty Blender, which is a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Um, and I'm just going to pounce this in. I hate to, like, be a sales pitch person, but, like, just, I've featured off cosmetics foundations, and also, obviously, Makeup Revolution is another one of my favorite brands. But Jeffree Star, like, they have so many cool things. Like, look at this mirror. Like, this is a Tiffany blue mirror. Like, I'll, I'm going to, I usually use it when I look, when I put it on my foundation. But I didn't want it to cover up my face. I like block the screen. I just realized I forgot to pluck my beard hairs. Oh, so I might do that in a minute. I need to just like start shaving. Just buy shaving cream, buy some gentleman's razors, and just wake up every morning and take care of business and take care of myself. Get my shit together, man. By the time I stop running from the truth. Okay. Okay, not too bad. I'm sure there's more. I just covered them up with foundation. So. So. Okay. Uh, so now the setting powder. Now we're gonna try it and see what we think. See how it um, compares to the smooth operator. 
the first time I used that Tarte Smooth Oper Operator, like, it really did make my face, like, my touch my face and my face felt really smooth. And then I started using it a lot, and, um, and then it's like the more I used it, the less smooth my face felt from it, so I don't know what that's about. But, okay, so I'm going to pour a little in this cut, in this lid. That's more than a little. And I'm going to use this brush, which is a kind of like a mock mermaid. You know how they have those mermaid brushes? I have some of the mermaid brushes. Um, this is from Forever 21, this brush. Okay, good. So it kind of smells funny. The smooth operator doesn't smell like anything. Wow, this lid doesn't hold much. Um, just because this foundation is really full coverage, but it's also really dewy. And I prefer a matte foundation. Like, I like my face to be dry. Okay, so that's not too bad. Cool. It's a good drugstore version. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Um, 11 minutes in, that's not too bad. Uh, okay, I'm going to use blush. Uh, blush, 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 blush. I'm going to use this MAC one that actually I'm really proud because my mom and my sister liked it so much that they bought it. It's called Just a Wisp. I was wearing it one day. I forgot I had this and I just put it on. And I was wearing it one day and my mom and my sister and my mom and my sister were like, whoa, wow, Lindsay, what is that blush? And um I told them what it is and they just immediately bought it online. Hold on, let me get in the light. This one. That's the color it is. And so they just both my mom my sister bought my mom one and my mom paid her cash. Like they were they just bought it and they loved it. I didn't get to see them put it on because I was watching Harry Potter because I'm a dumb fuck. Sorry, pardon that part of my expression. That's French. That's might be Greek. It's a French word based on Greek roots. But, um, they liked it and I'm so happy. That, it really makes me happy when people like things I recommend or I try or just they get it and they like it. Um, makes me so happy. So that's that blush. Um, it's looking good to me. Oh, I forgot the canary bling. Okay, so now, um, really stupid of me. That's very stupid of me. Okay. What did I do with that thing? Uh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to open this. These are kind of tricky. I don't know that I'm going to keep this. I want to keep it in its box, but I don't like this little, it's got like a little thing that goes over it. I guess I'll keep it in this box. Okay, so you like open it, so you you put you open it and then you push down and then you have it in a little dropper. Um I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply it. I'm just gonna See that? So it doesn't look crazy. It's not too dark, I mean. You're not supposed to put this over powder. But it's not doing too bad. It's not like it's not like freaking out like a lot of liquid um, illuminators do when you put them over a matte or a powder. Because either, I've always set my face with powder. I'm pretty used to doing that. Okay. So. I think I put more on this side. Okay. It looks good. I'm proud of it. So. Yeah, I got it. I'm completely blinged up. Canary blinged up. 
I'm glad I bought it. Um, I love it. I love it. I'm just, the reason why I'm hesitant, I'm not like going crazy, is because you can't really see it. There, maybe that's better. Now you can see it, but it doesn't look as, as good as it does. Um, I guess it does look good. It looks like it looks, yeah. Okay, so this is the canary bling. So there's yellow to it, you can see. As you can see. Um, okay, 15 minutes in almost. We're getting almost done. Um, I'm going to use my, my beauty blender. Are you still filming? Sorry. I have this kind of hooked up on a kind of rigged so it's not like the best way of doing it uh. okay so I have no way of holding this Okay, I'm going to try and piece these two together because it just stopped recording. So I'm just going to try and I have a, I have, I can download an app, like app and try to figure out how to put them together. It just takes forever. Uh, oh well. Okay. I guess I could put like these in part ones and part twos. I just want to film vlogs. I'm so tired. Okay, anyways, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place palette. Um, I'm going to use that Osun. That's this color, this pink color, because that's the reason I bought it. Um, okay, um... Okay, so not getting discouraged that I have to put these two together and figure that out. Um, I'm gonna start packing it on the brush. Okay. Um, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, so it actually is really pretty. It's like, it's basically, the vision I had for it is coming to life. Like, this is 
what I envisioned it looking like. It's almost like a peachy pink. Um, but it's really, really pretty blinding once you pack it on enough, right? Um, because it's a pale color, that's why I say that. It's a pale color, but it, um, it's blinding. So, that's, um, yeah. Um, I can't really use a shadow on my, uh, waterline. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna throw this away too. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna throw away this bubble wrap and just be realistic and add these. I do keep the boxes. <laughs> a lot of people think that's pretty stupid, I bet, but oh well. Um, I do keep the boxes of almost, if, I'd say every palette, except for like five below palettes. I don't necessarily keep those. Um, so I'm gonna do my Troublemaker Mascara. And we're gonna see how this pans out, because I've never, obviously I've never tried it. Um, Wow. That's a really, really good ass mascara. It like separates the hairs. So your eyes don't look clumpy. So, I love this mascara. This is my new mascara for a while. Um, I'm just going to do my, uh, lipstick. This eyeshadow is so pretty. Um, I want a lipstick that really makes it look good. Um, I think I'm gonna do 202. Um, it's a matte, I mean, it's a, it's a satin, it's this, it's Makeup Forever, it's in the shade 202, it's like a coral, it's got this little, like, applicator with, like, a sponge, uh, usually I don't really like those, but I do like this one. Okay, so this is the look. Um, I guess I can consider this an option, a, f a feasible, viable option to film. Here's my Morphe thing. If it hadn't, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. If it hadn't cut out, if it hadn't cut out and I have to put them together now, it would have been great. Um, I'm not complaining. Yes, I am. Very good show. I'm complaining. But I'm probably going to just go ahead and upload these. 
and or com put them together somehow and then upload it and then film another one maybe I don't know who cares I'm done all you can see in this camera is my eyes because I'm bending down to this one so um, <laughs> I mean my camera's already bad because I just I need to lower it or something and I don't think it lowers I don't want to mess with it anyways this is an option for filming videos like uh, makeup vlogs um, I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna go ahead and compress these together and sit around go smoke have a good one vaporize thanks for watching